Hello and welcome to the channel. This channel is all about computers and tips and tricks when using mainly Microsoft Office, but any, any software that's going really. If you don't want to miss any future videos, consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified. And after this video, if you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. So here we go, this week's video is all about VLOOKUP and there's a couple of VLOOKUP tricks, one using the SUM function and another one using the MATCH function. So let's give you the scenario. First of all we've got some part numbers on the left hand side, we've got some months going across the top and what we want to do is select a part number and add up everything in that year. So that's what we're going to put in here, the year's total. And then for the month, we want to be able to select a month for that particular part number and look up the figure for that month. So we'll start off with the first one. We need to type in here the part number that we require. So rather than typing it in, we'll use data validation. So you need to come up to data, click data validation, and then change any value to list click into source and highlight the list for your data validation. Now click OK and you now have a drop down which enables you to pick the part number required. So that saves typing things out. OK, we do the same for the month. So again, click into the cell, click data validation, change any value to list click into source and then highlight the months going across, click OK and now when we drop this down we can select the required month. Right, so this first one is a VLOOKUP. Um, I'll show you how it works before we put the SUM function in and then how it works with the SUM function. So we're going to look up this part number here, in this case part 17, so it's equals VLOOKUP, the lookup value is in P2, that's what we're looking for, comma, the table array is the whole of this table here, all the data, not the headings at the top, just starting from part one all the way down to the bottom right, comma, for those that have used VLOOKUP before, and it is quite an old function, it's been around a long, long time, we now put the column index, so if we wanted to return the figure for February, that would be column one, two, three. So we'd put a three in there and that would return the figure in the February column. We want to add the whole lot up. So what you do is put curly brackets in and then we're going to just simply type all the column numbers starting from column two because column one is the part number. So we're going to go across the 12 months. So that would be two all the way through to 13 to cover those columns. So you just put two, comma, three, comma, four, and just type them all in, going all the way across. And remember that last one's 13. Then close the curly brackets. Then we put a comma. The range lookup is that it's an exact match, so we put false in there, and then close the bracket. If you've got a, an older version, at this point, you would need to hold your control, shift and press enter. But because we're on 365 and we put those curly brackets in, we can press enter. You'll see that we've now got a spill error. This is because in 365, it's trying to spill those results across the right. So if I take that word year out of there, you'll see that that spills the results each of those months. So let's take Let's change this to part number one, so the numbers change, and you can see January is 52, 21, 21, and that's what's been returned across here. But we don't want that returned all the way across there. So let's just go back in, put our word year in there. So we've got our error. Go back into the cell that's got the function. Press F2 to go back into edit mode. What we need to do is tell it to add up all of those. And the way we do that is after the equals, put the sum function, so it's sum open bracket, 
and then we need to close the bracket at the end of the VLOOKUP. So that VLOOKUP is the range that we would normally put into the sum. Now press enter and there is your total for part one. And if we highlight all the figures in part one and then come down to the bottom of my computer screen, you can see the sum is 654 and that's the result we've got. And if we change the part number, we get the total for everything in part six. Now, what we're going to do here is we want to find the month figure for whatever part number we return. So we're going to start off with a VLOOKUP again. So it's equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is the part number. So in this case, part six in P2, comma, the table array. Again, it's all the data, not including those headings, just all the way across, including the part number, comma, and then the column index. Well, we want that to be found based on the month. OK, so remember, January is actually column two. February is column three and so on, because column one is where your part numbers are. So we're going to use the match function. So we type match. And the lookup value for this is the month that we're looking for. That's in P3 here, October, comma. The lookup array is where we're going to find it. So we just highlight from January across to December, comma. The match type is an exact match, so it's zero. Then close the bracket. Now the problem at the moment is that match tells you where it finds the match. So if you was looking for January, it would the result would be one. But of course we want that to be column two. February it would return two but we want that to be three because in a VLOOKUP the part number is column one January is two February is three so what we need to do is add one to whatever that match function returns now put a comma because we've got to finish the VLOOKUP and it's an exact match so we put false in there for the VLOOKUP and now close the bracket for the VLOOKUP press enter and there we have for part number six in October, it's 50. So let's check it out. Part six, let's come across to October, and there it is, 50. If I change the month to Jan and the part to part one, just to make it easier for us, there we go. Part one in January is 52. The whole total for part one throughout the year is 654. So there's a couple of little tricks that you can use when using the VLOOKUP. And I know that we've got the XLOOKUP out now, but as I'm going around different companies, people are still using the VLOOKUP. So why not? It's still there. Give it a go. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell and even sharing this so that others can find out about it. So thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.